Look at Ridley Scott, for example. He makes anywhere from Prometheus to Black Hawk Down. Before Dead Space, we had made Bond and we had made Return of the King. We're gonna move on and we're gonna study the heck out of that genre. We're gonna play every game in it and then we're gonna make a game out of it. I think coming to Call of Duty is just sort of a natural progression of our careers. It's nice to be on the biggest thing in the industry. And it's not, not just for ego, we are entertainers and we want to entertain as many people as possible. It just feels like this is the right place for us to be. You know, Sledgehammer Games in 2009 when we kind of came together really had a soul, kind of strong vision to really work on Call of Duty. I think a lot of people are veterans in the industry that really wanted to come here to do the best work of their careers. When you're doing this for a while, you work on a lot of titles that are great titles, that are cool, they're exciting, but this was a real pinnacle for us. That opportunity, that chance is something that did kind of bring us together in a way that I, I felt very different than, than projects in the past, right, across the team. I like the focus. I like that we are very focused on doing one thing, and that really helps. Yeah, I mean, it's been a remarkable five years for us. Right, and we came across with an opportunity to deliver a sledgehammer Call of Duty in a third-person space that, was fun, yeah. that we were yeah. pretty excited about. But the opportunity to work with Infinity Ward on Modern Warfare 3 was just something we couldn't pass up. Right, The biggest first-person shooter franchise with the grandfathers of Call of Duty. And that was amazing. We learned so much. I think it was absolutely perfect for us to, to work with them, Infinity Ward. I mean, we started out day one with them, so we all sat down in a big room just starting to get to know each other at the same time we're designing the game. But we learned so much. We learned, you know, about their, their military history and how they, they approached it. Do you think Sledgehammer's studio culture was largely shaped by Infinity Ward just because of that tight collaboration? Um, I, there's elements of that, sure. I think though we also brought a lot of our own kind of again quality and how we preserve and how we and we found that there were some things that we did very differently and the way we approached development differently. I really feel that's kind of a best of both worlds where we could really learn from a lot of the core things that those guys have brought to the franchise and then what how can we layer the things that we've done in the past and how can we expand on that. We're proud of the part we contributed and I think we're proud of the part Infinity War contributed and that was pretty special but yeah. to be able to, to run with it now under this roof with these developers it's uh, yeah we're looking forward to sharing more because we think we have some some meaningful way to make this franchise feel like it's got a sledgehammer mark on it. At some point after we learned a lot of the tips and tricks and things like that, that's when we're, you're able to start to break the rules and change the rules. So I think we feel much more comfortable with the franchise now that we've gone through that with them and we're able to take that and make it a sledgehammer game. You know, maybe at the time going through it, we didn't think about it that way, but what working on Modern Warfare 3 with Infinity Ward, they taught us how to make this kind of game and now we're able to make this. There, there's nothing else we wanted to make. Because we were all fans, right? Absolutely. We played Call of Duty as fans first and foremost. And there are people on the floor who 10th, 15th prestige over and over again, right? True passionate fans of the franchise. And so we came knowing what that felt like from a fan experience with the desire to bring a strong narrative and a strong emotional setting. And I think that actually allows us sort of an opportunity to the best of both, if you will. The best of what we learned from Dead Space, the best of what we learned on MW3. I think it was actually great that we were able to get in there and we had to move fast, we had to be, you know, we had to learn quick. And now, you know, we're focused a lot on what are we really bringing, what are we doing that's different. We approach this like we would any new IP. I mean, this has been one heck of a creative challenge. I mean, it, everything is brand new in the game. We started very small with kind of really core kind of beliefs and as we grow, the, tr the challenge is really to kind of keep that, sustain that. Make sure that you're hiring like-minded individuals, people who are also fans, right? That's really important. There's a lot of developers out there with a lot of different goals, but it's key to hire the people that are that share that same enthusiasm and passion that, that we have for this franchise. We have a world-class recruiting team and that's key. And I don't know if you guys saw the rec tree, but you know, we're constantly looking for great, talented developers. I think we're right around 200, a little over 200 people right now. You know, Chris over here is starting to figure out ways where we can kind of put desks right in between desks. So we'll see, we'll see how that works. Are you guys gonna keep growing, you think? I think so, I think we would love to keep growing. If we can get really talented people, there's places for that. You know, these games continue to 
they're huge. They're massive undertakings, right? So if anything, it's going to go higher, and we're going to continue to figure out ways to push the bounds, and that's going to take more people. We'd be not genuine to say that we're not even a little worried about. We're kind of on the shoulders of giants with this franchise, right? We have a ton of things to live up to. We have to succeed, right? This franchise demands the best work of our careers, and, and that's what we want to come do. For Activision to give us this opportunity, is uh, is really wonderful. They truly mean that. They took a team that's only made you know one game with another another team, and with the first team in ten years, a new team to come on and make the game. That means a lot. Our, our name will be alone on the cover. So they put a lot of faith in us, and 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 for us, I think it's just that the one thing that we're going to do is we're putting our heart and soul into it. And you've heard us say quality, and that is our one goal because everything else follows quality. And that's I think we owe that to Activision, but we owe that to the fans. We really look closely at a lot of different things. You know, the pacing is different. You know, things that are, there, there's very core things to Call of Duty that won't change, 60 frames a second, right? The, the moments and things in the, that are very memorable in the game, but our take on it, our spin on it is different. You think you have a message for the fans that might be a little bit worried about a new primary developer for their Call of Duty series? Don't worry about it. Like, like I mean, look, again, we're fans. We're really scrutinizing what we're doing ourselves and can't wait to, to show the stuff off.